Hey, first of all, I just want to thank everybody for uh, wishing me a happy birthday last week. It's not often that you turn uh, 97 years old and with so much uh, love and appreciation. So, man, I'm very thankful for all of y'all that uh, took a moment to say happy birthday. Secondly, uh, 25 of you turned up at 5.30 a.m. to do this uh, crazy breathing technique, the Wim Hof technique taught by Brian McKenzie. Now, I've been tinkering with this for <clears throat> six months now, and I need no more sort of uh, verification that it's it's uh, worth um, a lot for everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be getting certified, in it, and I will be teaching classes um, starting in January. I'll just be offering free classes for CFLA members that want to just work on their breath. Um, so more information will be coming once January rolls around. I'm very excited about that personally, and it's my vision to have a gym um, full of people that know how to understand to positively affect uh, both their mindset and uh, their body through a variety of, of uh, breathing techniques. Um, this is hands down the most effective breath slash meditation meditation technique I've ever encountered. So I'd like to share it with anybody that, that is interested in learning. <clears throat> um, we have our holiday party on Friday. So this is always a plus. I can't believe this is uh, the 11th year. So we've been having many, many parties. Uh, and I hope to see everybody in the freshest uh, gear. Every always looks so, so good. And then things get a little bit nutty. And we intend to have that be the case this Friday night. Lastly, uh, the training this week is uh, a lot of fun. We have four days where we're going to be seeing barbells, one that we don't. That's basically a straight uh, conditioning workout. On three of those days, you're also going to be moving laterally. And like I said in the video last week, that's one of the things that we're going to be focusing on a fair amount, not just in this mini cycle, but moving forward. We want our athletes to be able to move in multiple directions, not just in the sagittal and frontal planes. So, for example, on Tuesday, you're going to be doing one of my favorite athletic training drills called the T-drill. It's often used, most notably for football, but often used for basketball, soccer, any sort of field and or team sports where you need to be quick uh, moving in multiple directions. Um, and this is something that just basically is an expression of athleticism, something that I want to continue to be able to train. And hence one of the big reasons why we're making modifications uh, in how the gym uh, feels, at least the flooring space and all that. Anyway, uh, that's really about it for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys at the gym. Boom.